Hello everybody, hello, 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 and welcome to part one of the mail call for November of 2018 in December. So happy to see each and every one of you. you know, the mail call is a combination of a lot of uh, messages that we get uh, privately. I can make it like new at gmail.com transgirlrosie at gmail.com or Jen and Rosie reality TV at gmail.com plus uh, some of your selected questions from the thousands of comments that come in each and every month and let me tell you it is a lot over almost 6,000 videos and about the 9,000 if you look at all of the platforms so it's a lot of messages people comment on videos from Five and a half years ago, you got to go back and uh, look at the video to remind yourself what it's all about. So you can imagine some of the logistics involved in doing that. But it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it. So let's get to part one of the mail call for November. It was another great month. Uh, let's see, right off the bat, of course, I've been doing a live stream IRL in real life streams and uh, this person says I was mixed about the live stream stuff but I have to say it's more fun as a watcher I just can't wait till it's debugged because right now it's a real pain in the ass the bells and whistles <laughs> I agree but uh, it's like any new platform it's learning I'm not a software engineer I'm not a gamer so I go into this with uh, you know with real uh, you know real real difficulties in setting these things up but it's been a lot of fun for me and I think it's one of the things that helps keep you young is if you're involved in forcing your mind to do to do to learn new things forcing yourself to uh, work out bugs yeah there's bugs to be worked out but I love the interactive aspects of it as do many of you um, I think it's been uh, I think it's been it's, it's added a whole new dimension to things now I still do put up edited videos uh, as far as the uh, Reno trip that we recently took is concerned you can see uh, some of the edited videos on the Rosie Murphy channel crossing the Sierras uh, from 63 to 29 degrees in 10 minutes and then uh, some funny clips from things in Reno and then uh, our riding through the Sierras and uh, running Donner Pass after a major snowstorm. So there'll always be all kinds of uh, content as well as the other things like metal detecting. And, um, you know, it, when the times we go in the gun range and, of course, the uh, electronics things that will really start up hot and heavy after the uh, holiday season. But I'm glad a lot of people have given very good feedback on that. Uh, let's see. Are you? Here's another. Are you just getting lazy or old? Just push a button and chat. Really? <laughs> I took over five years. I didn't think about this one for a while. I took over five years and put up ten thousand videos, of which I took down several thousand of of them. And of those 10,000 videos that were put up, I would say 90% of them, 80% of them required editing. So if you're looking at 80% of 10,000 videos, you're talking about uh, 8,000 videos. And if each of the average videos has about uh, six or seven individual video clips, you're talking about, uh, well, you do the math there. You're talking about a hell of a lot of uh, video editing to be done. Not to mention, for every clip that ever makes it to a video, there's probably three or four that didn't, that were shot. And you can imagine the time spent editing. Well, time is precious, okay? Time is precious for me. And I've reached the point where I want to spend much less time editing and much more time interacting in my travels with people. This is why this is an excellent proving ground for me now. The Streamlabs overlay on my chat. Because I really feel by the time I'm underway with serious travel, you won't have to suffer through all the bugs and things that come with uh, rolling out a new uh, platform. Does not mean that I'm not going to be hosting uh, regular chats on YouTube, which I will be. I've not done so uh, recently just because of how busy I have been. 
but uh, it's good to work on it now and have it all debugged so when it's prime time, you guys aren't going to be too hassled with all the extraneous uh, kind of crap that you don't want to see uh, on the screen. And obviously people keep coming on, on board here, and it's a, it's a great thing. So, uh, lazy, yeah, probably getting a little older. Older, yes. Hmm? Hmm? Still got it, though, right? <laughs> uh, do you, number three, do you have a porn site I can check out? No, I don't. Okay, I don't have a uh, don't have a, a porn porn site. Okay, uh, uh, let's see number four. This was interesting because this is one thing that in real life streaming has done for people now is to give a little more of a window real time into Missy Jen and our Missy Jen and my life and our lives. This person says I didn't think you gave a fuck about Missy Jen really to be honest. But your live events from the various roads have changed my mind. Apologies to you. Well, you can see. You know, it takes a lot to, um, you know, Jen is pretty much independent and self-sustaining, and that's great. But if I want Jen to partake in activities, which I do, uh, out and about, and going places and seeing things, then she needs to be transported and wheeled around. Now, we've already covered off why I don't do an electric wheelchair and why she doesn't really care because, uh, you know, it forces her mobility more. And, you know, she's, she's coming up on five years on the Rancho in April. She's doing pretty doggone good managing her multiple sclerosis and things. And I like to think a big part of that is, not letting yourself sort of slip down to that safety net or that uh, those things like uh, electric uh, wheelchair. Not that they're not great things. Trust me, for, for the right person, it's wonderful. But by making Jen do more things and get in and out and do, you know, she loves to do the walking around the rancho and a little bit of walking here and there. It, it keeps her muscles gone. It keeps her working out. And I think it keeps her... Uh, strong in the face of what she faces on a day-to-day -day basis and you see in the live streams I do care about uh, taking her around I do care about making sure that uh, she's comfortable and settled and things are for eating that she's taken care of first yeah I talk over people and all that it's an East Coast thing but let me tell you Jen's probably used to it uh, by now and I have to tell Jen to speak up <laughs> so I've had so many people yelling around me for so many years. I guess I'm partly deaf now. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad that you I'm glad your mind has changed a little bit on that. Um, we don't have to be lovers to have people care about each other as if they're family and sisters, okay? Um, this per this is funny. This person is like, "How big do you want your ass to be?" Your ass looks huge when you do your Space Girl Triple X live stream not live stream but when you do your space well they call it live stream i guess it is a live stream on uh youtube yeah i hear you the wonders of uh those uh wrap leggings that kind of push up your butt cheek and ain't they wonderful maybe i can have a doctor install them into my uh ass cheek on the lower side that might be pretty good huh <laughs> It's, I'm pretty happy about the way my butt's going. As you guys know, I've been on this uh, diet now for, for this is uh, day number eight, and I'm sticking to it, and it's going pretty, uh, pretty darn good. Well, that's going to do it for part one of the uh, mail call. We're over nine minutes in. I want to thank you guys for being along. Thanks for being with us on Reno. We got so many more adventures coming up. It's going to be off the chain. Thanks so much, everybody, and stay tuned for part two of the November mail call in December. And your thumbs up. Take a minute and hit that thumbs up button and share some love. Thanks, everybody.